So these guys think they can rip us off by just saying they're going to hunt me down instead. I'm sorry, Maverick Hunters came first. It's just you guys are Mavericks. Doesn't mean you can ruin everything I love. Guess for that, I'm going to take you down. Also, I love this fortress theme. Really get you hyped for what's coming up. Also, I just realized I forgot to fill up my sub tanks. God damn it! Yeah, I'll be fine. With any luck, I'll be able to fill them up before the end of the stage. With luck. And probably not taking damage would also help. Ow. You dick. Yeah, I'll get there. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Mega Man X2 as a part of the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Uh-oh, this is your host, the MJ-406. You're not getting me, you stupid bot! I'm not gonna let you get me like... Oh, cool, I killed a guy. <laughs> oh, this, these rooms are not... No! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Shit, 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 ah! Ow. Sorry for screaming. <laughs> yeah, this fortress is pretty rough. It's definitely harder than the fortress of the first game. So, hopefully you're fast as well as, you know... Effective in your shooting and platforming. Because this. Ow! This fortress does not screw around. Okay, could you stop running into me, prick? Thanks for the energy. Will you be nice to give me the same? Yes. Thank you. So, yeah, hopefully you are fast with your wall jumps. Especially this stage. Because this stage can be a big nuisance with these enemies running around and pulling the walls in, so you have to struggle to climb up them. But don't worry, as long as you get there, you won't get hurt. So just get up to the top where that robot's closing the wall from, and you won't have to worry about being shut in. No. Stop it! I'm not gonna let you hurt me. Oh, this wall sucks, if I remember. Oh, never mind. This one's just a long vertical ascent. I thought it was gonna be worse. Ah! No! You're not sending me down there, you prick! Screw you! Ow. Screw you too. I'm gonna take the easy No! I'll take No! No! Stop it! No! You're not grabbing me! Get your little grabby hands away from me, you prick! You wanna make the level really hard for yourself, but at the expense of getting some energy, you can go down there. Honestly, I'd rather not. Cause I do not want to make my life hell. Cause you gotta climb this. Ah! No, 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 I'm not going down there. That's where you need to climb the end, it sucks. Oh yeah, I have to go through this now, too. What? Come on. Okay, I'm good. You bitch. You hurt me on your way out. Go screw yourself. Nope, nope. Ow, now I jumped into that one. Very clever. <sighs> At least the stages are short, but they're brutal. All right, by the way, weakness to violent here is uh, Bubble Splash. So, yeah, spoiled it. First boss gets under Fortress. You have Violin. We don't say anything to you. He's just there. Ow. All right, then. That's the way you want to be? All right, fine. How do you like this, huh? Oh, you actually do that. You just stand here and use this as long as you avoid the maze. I hate that mace. I hate that mace. <laughs> oh! So yeah, that mace is annoying, but otherwise, as long as you're smart, well, you didn't kill him. Just try to stay real far and stay behind the walls and just use your freaking, uh, you know, stay behind the walls, you can avoid the uh, spike balls just fine. Unless, of course, he does that like a prick. I think you just stay wherever he is. And then just do this. So, how's it going, Violin? Having fun there? Having fun smashing that wall? Looks good, huh? Yeah, looks nice. <laughs> just put on the barrier and stand at him, and you can kill him. What? How do you have overloaded my circuits? Oh! You died to a bubble bath. You bitch. <laughs> A nice, simple bubble bath is enough to wash away his violent streak and put an end to him. Freaking pathetic. 
I mean, he's pretty difficult as a tax and all that, but, you know, do that. If you're full health and you just do that, you can walk through him. You can just embarrass him by standing in his face with <laughs> bubbles. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. If only the next boss was that simple. Here's my least favorite of the X-Hunter stages. Stage 2. Because water. Because, of course, water. And, well, epic theme aside, these stages can bother the hell out of me. I'll, I'll say, this is the only stage of the game I play through when, when I get through this game. I absolutely, actually hate. Like, other stages I kind of hate for their difficulty. This one, I hate for its difficulty and the fact it has annoying gimmicks and it's boss. This is the hardest stage in all of X2, if you ask me. Because, well, oh, look at this. Having a wall jump of platforms that move over spikes. Oh, that's always a good sign. Always a good sign! Oh! Well, it's not all terrible, but... It's definitely one of the more obnoxious stages of the game. Especially once you get over here. Come on. Because you got to ride up this... Ow! Case in point. Oh, by the way, this stage has no checkpoint. So you gotta get the, through the whole thing in one go. Again, it's short, but tedious. Like, why? Ugh. And this stage is one of the reasons why I now have this my second favorite X game now. Just one stage, although the next stage also is a reason. Because of something in it. Here's something to think of. Remember how in X1, I got that Hadouken. I got that secret ability as a one-hit kill on bosses. And, well, it was great. You remember how I had to go through that bullcrap to get it? Remember I said other X games have those abilities? Why haven't we run into the one in this game yet? Funny thing! We haven't found it yet. It's in the fortress! That's right. Now this game decided to put the secret ability you can get in X2 in the fortress. In the third stage. That's not the only thing I have to say that I hate about it. It's the worst of the special abilities in the uh, first three X games. Well, acquiring the ability. The ability itself is fantastic, but acquiring it can kiss my ass. Why do you think I told you to fill up your sub-tanks? That's one of the requirements! Come on. Oh, shit. I just realized I fucked it up. Oh, no. No! I already blow it. Who? Huh? Let me get Crystal Hunter ready. And, well, another thing I'm... Like... This game slows you down a little bit in the fortress. Crystal Hunter! Long corners of spikes? Use Crystal Hunter. You can get rid of some of that bull crap. Um... Are you going to blow up? I want to change my weapon, dude. I want to... Oh, right. I can pause and do it. Right. I forgot about that. There we go. You can get a life at the end of this corridor if you want. <laughs> Not bothering. Why would I do that? Why would I do that to myself? Just for a one-up I don't need. Yeah. I'll just leave it at that. Why bother? Well... Here's my least favorite boss of the freaking X Hunter Fortress. Ooh, a pit of spikes under these platforms and... Whoa! Sergus, what the hell, dude? So yeah, Sergus is an asshole who freaking has this giant wall of guns. Just a giant wall of guns. Like, what the actual hell, dude? You got a spike pit over these platforms. And there's something else he does, too. Thankfully, there's a checkpoint right before him. Oh, thank God. Four lives. Okay, I'll give it one more legitimate effort. So I'm going to follow the spikes. I might actually be able to do this without doing my cheat method. I'll cheat once I... I'll go cheap once I get to the end of the fight, but regardless. So! He has all these guns to fire differently. The one second with the bottom fires those electric sparks that follow you. The bottom one fires a laser. The top one fires a freaking bouncy laser of some kind. 
And, well, every time you get rid of one of these, he inches closer to you. And the second one fires that little shield-like disc thing. Mm. And, well, as he gets closer, he gets rid of some of these platforms. Oh, invincibility frames, my friend. And, well, only one gun left. Get rid of all the guns. You can actually hit him now. And now he does this. So, he's annoying. You want to make his Easter on yourself? Here's a method. Get Sonic Slicer. Just stand under him so he can't get you. Because he'll try to avoid you wherever you are. Oh, God. I'm going to die. Use the charge shot version. Not fuck it. I might die, so I may as well just get it over with. <laughs> He's a really difficult boss. However, you can cheese the hell out of him. Let me show you how. So, let's get in here. Let me get my Giga Crush ready. So, if there's one great use for the Giga Crush in this game, it's this boss. You'll see why. Because remember, bosses don't get affected by this. But his guns aren't normal, are they? They're not a boss. So you can wipe them all out with one Giga Crush. Making most of this fight a joke. Getting rid of all the guns immediately. So now you just hang down here and do this. Just make sure you dodge over just make sure you dodge over the uh, diagonal shots of those, and you'll be fine. Just dodge around the shots that can actually hit you. Like the diagonal ones. As long as you do that, Al, you're fine. Just sit down here, charge your Sonic Slicer, and just keep throwing it up at him. It's his weakness, and it hits him super easily. So, yeah, just tank it at this point. Besides, if you manage to lose, you may want to recharge your Giga Crush with this anyway. There you go. Easy way to deal with this guy. This is impossible. The prophecy must be fulfilled. Huh. Funny. There was something that was lost in translation for some reason when they were porting this game internationally. He said something about... He said something about calling you Rockman X. Which is basically Mega Man X. Everyone else referred to him as X, but Service is the only one who calls him Mega Man X. There's a reason for that. And it's come up with some fun fan theories that are unconfirmed by Inafude, who wants to leave it a mystery. It's believed that all these three X-Hunters are basically personality quirks of Dr. Wily. Like his soul man shall live in those robots. So, yeah, that's a thing. With Sargus being the lead one, being the uh, brains, which was, you know, Wily's defining characteristic about him. Or maybe, may I say, his more dominant trait. Also, I have no idea how the hell to get these. Is it Magnet Mine? I doubt it, because... This just sets a black hole. Cool? I guess? Anything else I didn't show off yet? And Bubble doesn't do anything. Nope. It does nothing. I've never figured out how to get this. It's bugged the shit out of me. I have no idea how to get this at all. Like, what the hell do I do? Because Silk Shot doesn't work. Crystal Hunter won't do anything. And there shows to be no secret to get in. The only thing I can think of of how to get in is with this. Strike Chain. But it won't even enter the freaking hole for some reason. Come on! Get! 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 Oh, Strike Chain is how you do it, but... How do you time it? I have no freaking idea, because you can't really fit in the hole. So yeah, if you could get another freaking freaking shot, the strike chain, pull these out, and you can get them. I do not bother with that, because that is just a waste of my time. Okay. Anyway, this room sucks. You have to keep stepping on this. It rotates 90 degrees in the direction it moves. So get used to trying to navigate that through some difficult sections. Oh, an easy... Also, where did that... Where did that thing vanish off to? Also, there we go. All my subtags are full. Good. I needed that. 
I better make sure my health stays up high, too. This room is where this sucks. You gotta get go through all of this. Oh, can't jump. Gotta restart now. Yeah, this room is annoying as hell. If you fail to get this to navigate all the way up, you gotta go all the way back down and start over. And while you get too high, you can't jump, thereby not being able to press the button again. You just gotta navigate through all these freaking ceilings. Why? Why did they think this is a good idea? I mean, there are some parts you can kind of relax and give yourself a little break in between, and they won't drop down below, but even still, it's just obnoxious, this thing. If you don't time it right, you're gonna hate yourself. This thing sucks. Okay, I got through it. It's not awful, but it's certainly inconvenient. Okay, there we go. Full health. Okay. So, now we have split paths here. Yeah, you can probably guess. You want to go the higher route, baby. Come here. Come here. I need you. There you go. Lay right there. Thank you. Free life, which you'll need, probably. Ow. Frick. Back off. Let me get my Crystal Hunter back out. So, use Crystal Hunter to make navigating through here easier. <gasps> Ow! Yeah, there's a reason you want to go this way. And people know why. I'm glad I filled up my E-Tanks, though. So, yeah. Come here. So, yeah. Get Crystal Hunter to shoot down the bats. To freeze them, use those platforms. Grab life and energy you need. I'll just say this. There's a reason this room's set up the way it is. But the lives and the energy capsules you can keep getting. There's a reason for it. <laughs> no! I hit the side again! <laughs> God damn it. Basically, you keep going this route. You'll never run out of lives because you'll keep getting that life over and over again. And you can keep getting energy for your sub tanks. I said one of the conditions for that secret ability was that you needed to have your sub tanks filled, right? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! Hang on, hang on, hang on! Oh shit! No! Ugh. Oh, you also need to have all energy. Uh, and also this. You don't need to have full weapon energy, but you need to have full health. By the way, this section sucks. You wanna air dash through here, turn around, speed burn to the other side. Once you do that, come down here and slide into the fourth B section, you see. If you do not have full health on you and all your sub tags full, this capsule will not appear. But if you do have them, wow, you are so cool. I am not worthy. I'm not worthy. What the fuck are you doing, Light? Step inside for a special surprise. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. So yeah, come here with full energy, everything acquired, along with full energy on you, and full sub tags. Attack me if you dare. You get the... Shoryuken! Another Street Fighter move! If you press forward, down, then diagonal forward... If you press forward, down, then diagonal forward, and shoot in quick succession, with full health, just like the Duken, you get to do the Shoryuken, the uppercut version, also from Ryu and Street Fighter. I mean, come on, they would go to the most iconic character's moves. Well, I'm not gonna go that way. Screw that. So, yeah, just like the uh, first game with the Hadouken. Oh, crap, I need Crystal Hunter. Just like Hadouken with Mega Man X1. It's a one hit kill move. As long as you have full health, you can utilize it. And funny thing, the boss it's best used on is the next one. I mean, you could also do it to the end game bosses, but I wouldn't worry about that. So let's go forward, shall we? Time to battle the boss, so I'll try to battle legitimately. I'm trying to remember what his weakness is. It's agile in this, which is annoying, by the way. I hate this. What is your weakness? I kind of. Ah! Speed burner? No, that'd be ironic. Magnet mine. I wonder how the black hole works on him. I'm curious. Ooh! Nice! 
Okay, so you can do that to keep it on screen and have it just keep racking damage on so you can focus on dodging. Oh, sweet! So yeah, don't get smashed by the little platforms he summons so you don't take damage. Watch out for those. And he hasn't done it. Very much well, if you're hanging up near him, he'll turn red and try to smash you on the wall. It won't kill you, but it can be annoying. He's not as hard as Sargus, but he's pretty not bad. No! It's gonna be! Master, avenge me! Master? Well, your master. Oh. There must be a leader of the X-Hunters. I see. In that case, he must be destroyed. God damn X-Hunters. You guys never learn, do you? <sighs> All right. Fine. It's time to take on your leader. But before that... I gotta go to the bathroom, so pause for a sec, sorry. You know what they say, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Sorry, I was just feeling that I had to do it. You know, I wouldn't think about doing this stage, but then again, not much is happening here anyway, so I may as well knock it out now. You know why there's nothing happening in this stage? Hmm, there's a destroyed pod. Well, let me go in this one then and see what happened. Wait, a room full of pods? Uh-oh. Guess what? Robot Ma Maverick rematches! God damn it! So, time to exploit everybody's weakness. Use Silk Shot Magnus Centipede, which is his weakness, and you can get rid of his tail so he can't absorb your powers. That's one make make this fight easier. Although the counter argument to not using his weakness, if he still has his tail and you know how to avoid it, you get some easy hits on him while he tries to absorb you. Because, well, it's rid of attacks that he does, so he'll do other attacks more frequently like that. And unfortunately, these weaknesses don't do too much to him, so I'm just gonna go with, his bu with the boss for the rest of the time, because it'll be faster. But yep. Use his weakness to break off his tail so you don't have to worry about him oh, absorbing your power. Always a recommended strategy. Ah! That's fine. Ugh. That's right. You're not ready for the full power of the buster, are you, bit? Oh! He dodged both! Thankfully, Magnus Centipede is pretty weak, other than that tail ability he has. There we go. If I can nail him two of my big charge shots in a row. Ow. Could you not do that, asshole? But yeah, the robot rem rem rematches... Yeah. Robot rematches in this game are a lot more standard than they were in uh, Mega Man X1. So Mega Man X1 decided to go with Mega Man 1 style. Mega Man X2 goes in the style of the rest of the Mega Man games follow the robot rematches. You go to a room, you have... Other ways to reach whatever robot master you want, whatever bosses you want, and then you just battle them all to get out. Yikes! You nearly killed me! See, so yeah, blood off his tail doesn't always help, but, you know, if you'd rather fight at full strength, go ahead. But his attacks are more vicious without his tail. Just a heads up. He's the only one I can't fight that way anymore. For some reason. I've gotten better fighting without his tail. I used to only be able to fight him when I made him lose his tail. Oh, jeez. They only give me four small energy capsules to refill health, too. Make it that brutal. Wheel Gator. Another boss I don't like to use weakness against. His weakness is... Strike Chain. Right? Yeah, that's Wire Sponge's weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another reason to Wire Sponge's stage first. If you don't like fighting Wheel Gator with Jester Buster. Oh god, no! Eh! You can do Sprite Chain! Unfortunately, it makes him go back under the frickin' oil. So, it takes longer to kill him. Well, I can say this, though. There are less bosses that have Spark Mandrill Syndrome. Whoa! No! No! Get off me! Ah! That's what he does if he manages to grab you. He's a giant pain in the ass about that. If he grabs you, he'll drag you in the oil and just strangle you a little. So you get damaged for a little. Also, he won't wait till he's half down to start drilling the walls. He'll just do it whenever he can in this fight. Like, robot rematch is actually harder in this game. It's nuts. There we go. So yeah, first two bosses I did. Not recommended to use their weakness on them because it makes the fight drag on longer. And, well, they do annoying attacks after the fact. So, yeah. Although, doing against Magnus Centipede, every time you hit him with the Silk Shot, he'll teleport. He does it when you shoot him anyway, though, so what's the point? 
That's why I just do double charge shot. That was only two of them, too. Damn it. All right, then, who's next? Maybe I could get an easy one. Not really. Damn it. Although, using your weakness is easier against you. And I get an achievement for this. So, Sonic Slicer! Use it against him, you get around his guard, too. Do the charge variety, you can really do damage to him. Just keep in mind, you want to actually not be right next to him when you do the charge version. Oh, that's it, I've had enough! All right, bitch! You think you can keep doing that and get away with it? No, not today! Ow. My get grass fully charged. Get a crush, I mean. Eat this! Half the spuds you used to be. Wait, what? No! You can cut him in half. <laughs> it's his weakest, and even killing with it, you cut him in half. A real work of beauty. Ah, there we go. That's the last of the uh, Maverick achievements I need. So all that's left is just beating the game normally and, uh, well, getting through the intro stage without taking damage at the end. So yeah, it is. The, re the rematches take a while in this game, though. All right, who's next? Oh, crap. Overdrive Ostrich. Well, as you can probably guess, you probably want to stop him in place to stop him from running. So, Crystal Hunter. Also, I don't think slowing down time will help you, so. Just hit him with crystals. Once he stops running, of course. Ah! You would? You could say a Spark Mandrel Syndrome, except every time he you hit him with that, he decides to throw the frickin' slicer blades down on you. You can dodge it pretty easily, though. I guess it's not all bad. Okay, never mind. He does a Spark Mandrel Syndrome. You just gotta time your shot. That's all. Damn it. You're not on screen, though. I can't do it when you're off screen, dude. At least not easily. Yes, that's right. Come on down. There we go. All right. Gotcha. Okay, so slight spark mandrel syndrome. Just freeze him. If you can hit him the instant before he throws down the slicer blades and just go back and forth from left to right on low terrain, you can keep him pinned. See, some bosses can have spark mandrel syndrome. You actually have to work towards it. That's all. You have to figure out how to exploit them. See, you can hate it, but at the same time, sometimes it takes work to actually be able to, you know, exploit them to the fullest. I, to my knowledge, that and only one other boss suffer Spark Mandrel Syndrome. I'm trying to remember... I think Flame Stag is one of them. Wire Sp... I mean, Wire Sponge. We already dealt with him. Frickin' Bubble Crab is not one of them. Also, his weakness is, of course, something spiky. Spin Wheel. Again... Not a weapon I would usually use on him, because it's better to use the, uh, busters. Although, it can pop his bubble. And notice that there are spikes in this room now! That's why this rematch fight is harder. They threw spikes on the ceiling. So if you jump carelessly, you'll fly into the spikes. And, well, because of Bubble Crab being a dick, they were trying to jump over him to make him do a stab. If you're not careful with your jumps... You'll kill yourself. So, yeah. Just a word of warning. Don't do that. If you can help it. Come on. Mm -mm. Alright, one more. One more to do it. Uh. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes. Whew. Let's see if I get through the stage without using my sub tanks. I mean, I'm not going to need them for the next stage, but still, I'd rather have them just in case. Oh, why did they have to throw death spikes at the top of the room? That's just mean. That's just too much. All right. If I can find Flame Stag, I give myself a break. Because he's the easiest one. He definitely has Spark Mandrel Syndrome. I think this is his room? Is it? No! Crystal Snail also has Spark Mandrel Syndrome. His weakness? Magnet Mine. His is a little more annoying, but it's actually pretty manageable. So, let's go. Crystal Snail, I see how much you like magnets. Ow, oh, how do they work? Whoa! You can make them fly out of his shell, which annoys him. And after the fact, fire on the magnet mine. Hey! You can keep doing this. Every time you do that to him, he will try to slow down time again. 
and for some reason it stacks, kind of. And you gotta do it every time he's done slowing down time. It's annoying. Yeah, doing spark belt mandrel syndrome on crystal snail is annoying. You can only hit him from the front, but if you time it to shoot the shot as soon as he's coming back down, ow! And just learn to jump on the wall afterwards, you got an easy kill on him. Ow! Why? So yeah, spark mandrel syndrome. This one's pretty simple. Just remember the time is slowed down and shoot early. If you do that, you can keep a pin. He'll just keep flying back in his shell and then flying out, in and out, and slowing down time. It takes a while, but it's easier than fighting him normally, that's for sure, because of his damn defense. Getting rid of his defense makes it easier. And you might be able to shoot the shell around, I don't remember. Now I think about it, I don't think you can. But hey, it's a good exploit. Okay, so I think there's only two left. Three left. Two left. This has got to be Flame Stag, which his weakness is obvious. Bubble Splash. There it is. Bubble Splash is his weakness. Yep, this is Flame Stag's room. He's got Spark Mandrel Syndrome more than anybody. Just wait for him to do his, finish his first time hopping around. Oh, what the hell? I guess I didn't select the weapon for some reason, even though I thought I did, but whatever. So there we go. I'm on a bubble shot. There you go. Shoot him with that, and then he'll throw flames. One on the ground, one in the air. Just rinse and repeat. Just make sure you avoid the flames, and you got him locked in. He does this every time. Ah, uh, Spark Mandrel Syndrome. When you're low on health, and you can pick a boss that has this, it's a cyber relief to let you know you don't have to use your items on you to recover. Or it just gives you another opportunity to recover later. And you're dead. See, look at that beauty. Another good old bubble bath for the flaming horse. I just realized this episode's really long. There's a reason for that, though, because the next episode would be really long if I didn't do this this episode. All right, that just leaves... That just leaves Morph Moth. Which, well, using his weakness doesn't really help, but it makes the fight a little faster. So, let's go with it. Let me get some full health in case I make a stupid mistake. Oh, I see. They throw you off your special weapon as soon as you get to the room. Okay, then. Speed burner! You know what to do. You use a charge attack to make it faster, but... Ah! You just burn him. Hey! I'm still growing! Ow! What the... Why? So, yeah. You keep hitting with speed burner to frickin' make it, you know, a little more bearable. It won't stop his attacks in any form, but hey. At least you get to watch him burn like he's a freaking cartoon character. If you care about that sort of thing. Do the dash speed burner. I think you're invincible during that, and it does more damage, so if you want to do that, you do it that way. Ow! Hey! Ah! You're not gonna put your sparkles on me! No way! I don't want your stupid glitter. Back off! Oh, and there we go! Robot rematches are done. Now that, all that's left... It has been a while, Mega Man X. Oh yeah, you said you were gonna be back! What? Sigma? That's right! It seems that the X-Hunters have failed. But don't worry. I have arranged for some new toys for you to play with. Damn you, Sigma! So yeah, Sigma's back! He said he was gonna be back, so you shouldn't be surprised. But yet the X-Hunters were just a front. Their master was Sigma. You should have wondered where he was when he said he was gonna be back. There he is. All right, well, this is a long episode, so... Next will be the finale of Let's Play Mega Man X2, where we take on Sigma and take him down. That's all that's left, just like the end of Mega Man X1. But we'll have something else to show off, and well... Have you ever wondered where Zero's parts come into play? We haven't seen that yet. Well, you're about to see that next time. So, tune in for Zero to be the hero once again. Actually, he died last time. What the hell am I talking about? I was a hero for having to pick up for his slack. He didn't even help a goddamn bit. He encouraged me and then died. Is it really worth bringing him back at this point? <laughs>